Sega. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Aaron at Sega. Hi, I'm Kelly. And we are here with part two of our look at Yakuza Dead Souls, which comes out March 13th, exclusively for the PlayStation 3. We're running around as Kiryu right now, he's the main character of the series, in his glorious American flag t-shirt, sunglasses, and shorts. Very patriotic. Indeed, it's, uh, it's quite a sight. So we're about to get into a forklift, so attention all you Shenmue fans, this one's for you, riding around in a forklift, where of course we can mow down some zombies. Fantastic. You know, you did some racing in Shenmue and this one, it's like just, just the same, but imagine that all your competitors are zombies and you have to kill them. It's a very similar concept, I think. So as we're driving around in our forklift, um, this thing can go just about anywhere we want it to, which is kind of fantastic. Oh, oh, out of the way. It is a merciless killing machine. It's forklift. Deadlier Who than knew? you think, right? Someone's going to go on like a forklift rampage three months from now. We're going to get blamed for it. Yes. I swear. All right, so we're about to reach the end of uh, where the forklift can travel for the time being. Hey, watch it, guys. Watch it. That, that guy's got a Molotov cocktail. Not before you get a couple more. Ah, uh, here we go. So we're on a quest right now. Cosmic Kiryu wants to go find a hostess club in the city. Problem is, everyone's become a zombie, including most of the hostesses, apparently. But this guy in his... What is that, a pink? It's a pink Snuggie. No, no, I think you mean Comfy Throw. The, the blanket, blanket with, with sleeves. sleeves. Yes. All you old Sega fans that watched our Free Stuff Friday videos will remember that. So we're going to follow Dude in his comfy throw. Yes, the blanket with sleeves. <laughs> the blanket with sleeves. You, you can't say the first part without the second part. This is so. true. That, that's the rule. And here's the same dude telling us that he's now dressed up as the waiter because they're a little short on staff. What with everybody being dead and all. Yeah, well, costume changes. You know. Yeah, you know. More costume changes than chair. Sometimes you got to wear a lot of hats. Or no hats. Or... Oh. oh, hey. There's our uh, lovely hostess girl. This is a side quest, by the way. So we're on the hostess side quest, and she's a zombie, he states. The poor thing ended up getting bitten. She, yeah. she was a real cutie before that. Kazuma declines to drink with a zombie. But is begged to stay. I love how he says she's going to work her tail off for you. Literally. And then he actually tries. He tries to have a conversation with her, which, you know, you got to give him points for that. Cosmo Kiryu, for as much of a badass as he is, like, stopping and having a conversation with a zombie hostess, it's really generous. She's not a great conversationalist, though. She yeah, just kind of growls. You and... can kind of see just the rarg, arg. This is, this is another reason that I really do love this series, is because they do really random sort of quirky things like this, in addition to the karaoke and the stuff that we showed off last time. It's just a quest where it's really awkward, and you're sitting down with the zombie hostess like, I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, the guy wants us to stay. I thought, I thought you two hit it, hit it off, off so, so well. well. Clearly. So well. An in-depth conversation. There we go. Kiryu's not taking that. You don't talk that way to a man in a USA flag t-shirt in Tokyo, Japan. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. On the loading screens there, you'll see some combat survival tips. These will come up at random throughout the game as you go through. And so next, now that we've gotten out of that place, we're going to go and continue our quest. And hey, what's up? Why, why is everyone wearing comfy throws? Well, he's he's in a, the blanket with sleeves. He is in a <laughs> yellow one, though, so that's automatically more trustworthy. Yeah, I think so, too. So, he, just, he just told us the other place had zombies, but his place is legit. We should totally trust so him. So we should, yeah, we should follow him. That hey, sounds what? legitimate. That sounds completely legitimate. Let's follow this guy. Dark alleys? You bet. <laughs> Just sit tight. I'll call your hostess over. So I love this. This is like zombie apocalypse all the way. Hey, all right. What's up, lady? See, she's a bit nicer, I think. Uh, well, those are not... It's just her fashion sense, the handcuffs. Yeah, I like how he says that. Like, the handcuffs and the makeup is cracking. That's not a nice thing to say. Yeah, why, Kiryu, why you gotta say that, dude? She's right in front of you. And what's with her teeth? They're huge. That See, is I don't just... think he needs any help on what not to say at a hostess club. He seems to be doing just fine that is all just on his rude. own. You don't tell a woman her teeth are large. Oh, hey, look at that. Her contact fell out. Well, okay, I think the teeth thing might be a little warranted. Yeah, that's reverse beer goggles right there. <laughs> reverse beer goggles. Get worse. So Kiryu notices it, makes threatening motions, and the dude just pulls a ruby out of his pocket and gives it to him. 
Don't we all have a ruby in our we, pocket for emergency situations? We can't make this stuff up, guys. It's like this happens in Japan all the time. Here we go. The real hostess club. We think this place is legit because it's got a uh, armed guard at the door. Hopefully there's no zombies here. When we first go to the hostess clubs, we can't request any hostess girls. So we're going to sit down and, uh, and get to know one of them. All right, so here we are sitting with Miyabi, who seems, she seems like a nice girl. She seems nice, but she oh, seems to have, yeah, sex do, appeal. Do I have sex appeal? So, folks, if, if a girl asks you if you think she has sex appeal. Yeah, the answer is always yes. Is it? I mean, because in this case, we're trying to, to say the wrong thing. Well, What's and so the in this case, thing? it's probably all in your head. It's pretty terrible yeah, thing to say. Yeah. I'd say we just go with the sympathetic route. Like, look, look, baby, it's not about being pretty. It's about your personality. Yeah, I mean, so sex appeal is the most important thing. I think is the worst thing to say because it implies that you <laughs> it implies agree. You don't have it. She right? has no sex appeal. Right. So. So I think we've just said the worst possible thing in this case. Right. Uh, oh, or not? How did that? How did that work? We just got hearts. There it is. So the object of the game is to get the most hearts you can and to make her as happy as possible. However, just for fun, we decided to try to do the worst thing. Yes. So imagine, it's, it's kind of like dating in real life, except you just don't see the little hearts in the top left-hand corner of the screen. It'd be easier if you did, though. Right? Seriously. Yeah. I wish real dating had those hearts. So now that we've got her card, we can go back and request her, and we can start building up that relationship. Uh, we're trying to do the worst possible job we can do right. here to show you guys what not to do when you pick up Yakuza Dead Souls. Because it's more fun. This really is more fun, I think. We're back, and this time we can request her because we have her business card. Each of the characters gets a different girl, so all the girls have different personalities. They're all based on real girls that enter the contest in Japan. Here she is. So you see the hearts, top left. And to begin, she's going to ask us what we want to drink. So my initial thought was to go with whatever is free. Yeah, because her, her job is essentially to get us to spend money. Like, that's how the club makes money, is what we buy. So... Maybe we go with either something free or something that is so typically non-classy that there's no way that she's going to like yeah, us Yeah, I mean, the orange juice, because at least the soju, that's alcohol. The orange juice yeah, is orange like juice isn't even alcoholic. straight up kindergarten orange juice. Right, this is like first grade dating. There's no way that she will like us for this. Yeah, we'll take some orange juice. Except it turns out she loves <laughs> she orange juice. She apparently loves orange juice. I didn't see that one coming. Yeah, the words right either. out of our mouth. So what's the worst thing you could possibly have with orange juice? I mean, pickled vegetables is pretty bad with orange juice. Yeah, yeah, vegetable sticks. How about fried chicken? Fried chicken is about as unsexy as you can get with orange juice. Mmm, fried chicken and orange juice. What? Except she totally loves it. What? She likes fried chicken and orange juice together. So we're failing at failing right now. Yeah, we are. We are. Wow. You know, in some ways, I'm a little appalled, but in other ways, I think this girl is kind of amazing. It's true. She eats she fried a, chicken and drinks she, orange juice on the first date. She's a cheap date, if nothing else. <laughs> right? She is not Get some KFC. good at her job. All right. right, exactly. Cheers with the orange juice. Yep, classy. So now we, uh, we get to the conversation part of it, and that's when it's going to give us some multiple choice answers. Typically, one of these is really good, one is really bad, and one's sort of like an average, doesn't do much. I wonder what I'm doing so, wrong. She's yeah. talking about the sex appeal thing again. Yeah. She's got some self-esteem issues. Yeah, I think so. So, nah, why don't you try talking to young men? There you go. That's, you can't get older men. Just, you try, just, just, just don't try even young try. Men. Just yeah. go for the young and dumb ones. I think that's good. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Score. We got it. That's what we're looking for right there. I'm a little thirsty. Can I get some orange juice? No. No, baby. Not tonight. No. Sorry, it's just too much. Daddy's got to save his cash. I think that orange juice was ten dollars, though. It's those, really those markup, expensive orange it's, juice. It's really good orange it's juice. All the way from Florida. <laughs> Imported, nature's finest. So she's asking about the sex appeal again. Here it is. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So why don't you try some more revealing clothes? Because that's what every girl wants to hear. You'd be right. sexier if you just had less just, on. Just put on less clothes, and you'll look. Far better. Probably the worst possible thing we could say. Kiryu's trying it. He's up to bat. Don't 
don't let us down, Kira. You yeah, make you her mad. Yeah, you can always do something like exercise again. <laughs> just, what just what exercise. you always want to say. And we just got a full heart for that. That was the best possible answer right there. Apparently. Darn it, Kelly. We keep screwing this up. She likes well, someone I can't like real life be like this. <laughs> I screw it up and I just screw it up, so. Ah, she says she wants a character like a manga character. They die for their friends. I feel so safe and protected. You could say I'll protect you, or yeah. you could say... Or strength isn't it, or... I, I don't just, have time for I just woman. don't have time yes, for you. Yes, there it is. She's going to hate that. <laughs> or not. Not going to hate that. What? Well, we've unexpectedly told you guys and shown you the best answers to pick with Miyabe whenever you're dating her. Pro tip, get her orange juice, fried chicken. Tell yep. her you don't have time for her and that she needs to wear more revealing clothes. Right. Also, don't try that on any other date <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. You're barking up the wrong tree, he says. Poor Kiryu. It looks like it's that time. She's like, well, gotta go. <laughs> so anyways. So $187 later. Thanks for the fun first date, Miyabi. Enjoy that fried chicken. That's it for our look at what not to say in a hostess bar in Tokyo. Well, at least we tried. We, we really did try. Now you guys have some tips. We hope you guys will enjoy Yakuza Dead Souls when it comes out soon. And stay tuned for a look at the controls and our tips and tricks on how to play Yakuza Dead Souls.